Alright, welcome to my Google Wave video. Um, it's basically a preview of what Google Wave can do and a simple tutorial about what it does currently. Alright, first off, when you first log in to your account, uh, you should probably be using Firefox or uh, Chrome, preferably. Firefox I've been using, it runs a little slower than Chrome does, but uh, overall it works pretty, pretty well. Internet Explorer, do not recommend you use that for Wave. Um, well, I don't recommend you use it in general, but for Wave especially, uh, because it does not work. Uh, you have to install a Google Chrome Frame, Chrome Frame I believe it's called, which basically emulates Google Chrome with an IE. So if it's at all possible, I would recommend switching to Chrome uh, to run Google Wave. Or Firefox. Firefox, I find, is a more fully featured browser anyway. Alright, so when you first log in, this is what you'll see. Um, you'll see your contacts, navigation inbox, and then the the frame that shows what you're clicked on. In that respect, it's a lot like an email client. You'll log in, you'll have your navigation on the side, you'll have your contacts, you'll have your inbox. And then you'll have your frame, which shows know all everything that's in the message itself except in this case everything that's in the message is not really like email inside the message is more like a forum post so to speak or a forum um, where everyone's posting and the nice thing about wave and a necessity is that you're able to minimize all of these so that you can see because you will be spending a good amount of time um, with it maximized so that you can see everything so essentially um, let's say we wanted to start a new wave and the first thing you're going to be able to do just like an email essentially is do wave test blip these are called blips um, when you add a new wave there's wavelets and then every single one of these is blips wavelet would be a whole threaded conversation so you have well, your blip you can hit done and Usually, if you're the only one, they'll usually add you to ask you to add participants, um, and essentially it'll post it like that. And if other people were already added to this wave, they would see you typing in real time. Um, they would see you type W A V E. Everything it'll be like a little cursor with your name next to it, um, showing you um, other people typing a as it's happening. So that's that's one of the advantages, I think. Now once you see the blip, you are able to click and edit the message, and currently anyone can edit anyone else's messages at any time, so that's something that will hopefully be changed, it has to be changed. And if you edit this message, obviously you can re-edit it. And when you're editing it, there are a lot more options, obviously formatting options, essentially, and then the interesting things, the G plus thing basically just lets you search the web. Um, so if you want to search for, say, blogger for some reason, you'd search and you'd click add to wave and it would add the link right there with the title um, if you want to get a little bit more impressive and do an image search for blogger and that really won't pull up an icon but hey you click in there links there it'll if you hover over it, it'll show the link itself and you can click there to go there the image of the hover will show up you are able to upload images um, just say I, I've had problems with it not displaying the image in some instances but usually it'll upload and display the image and then you're able to minimize it maximize it um, it's a nice way to share photos you just drag and drop them into your wave and it'll display them uh, the next thing is add a gadget by Earl. Um, let's say you had, in this case, this is a conferencing gadget. Uh, I don't have any other users, so it'll error out and say, you know, no other users. Um, but essentially, with that one, which is nice, and you would um, you would just click. There'd be a flash plugin that would pop up, and you click call, and then it would bring you to the waiting room, and then all the other users on your wave could click on that as well and it would bring them in and you'd be able to conference call while typing uh, which is a, a very nice uh, a very nice way to do that and then you can have, if they don't have wave you can have them call in by phone um, when 
which case charges would apply, etc., etc. Audio conferencing in ways, etc., etc. Another more well-known one is Rivet. I actually, I haven't really checked out Rivet much, but I actually really like this one since its ability to um, do it completely VoIP-wise, which in the other one it's, it, it uses numbers as far as I can tell. It doesn't do VoIP. And as you can see, it's not loading. I've had problems with that before. It's nothing new. Um, and essentially, so once again, you can hit done, and it will form that and make it permanent. Um, one nice thing that they added is if you don't want people to see you in real time, make spelling mistakes, say something wrong, you can hit, well, it's not even implemented yet, but you can hit draft, and it will take it off of real time. Um, next, um, private reply will make it so that you are replying only to the poster. No one else in the wave can see that. Reply to this message makes it threaded, and then you can copy it to a new wave. Um, overall, that's pretty much simple stuff about uh, actually within the wave itself. Now, let's say you wanted to make this wave public. What you would do is you would click Add, and then it's not on here. It might be down recently, but you would uh, do Public uh, Public at a.gwave.com, I believe. Well, something like that, and you would add that, and that would make it a public um, public post. A lot of these that you see are public posts. Um, by adding that it makes it public and the weird part is if you do to find public posts you do with public and search and then would pull up just millions of these and they would be they'd be updating as you can see there's already a very active community and Stargate Universe huh they have the discussion up well that's exciting for me now but um as you can see there are tons and tons of these out there and the part is right now if you click on any one of those it will automatically uh, add you add that to your inbox so when you um, yeah, see those are those pictures are uploading okay when it uh, adds you to the when it adds it to the inbox it will always show up whenever whenever there are new updates um, which can be very annoying especially when it's updating so so quickly um, and as you can see, uh, these little green bars next to it mean it's unread. Um, you can change this whole thing to red as you mark as red, mark as unread. You can do trash, you can move it to any specified folders, just like you know, uh, public threads would be a folder you can move it to. Um, you can archive it, and if you mute it, it will not pop up in your inbox every time there are new updates to it. You can mark it as spam, etc. <clears throat> and as you can see, these threaded, you can hide the threaded. Uh, pretty simply, and 